Welcome back, my name is Philip Magnus and this is Gaming Now. Today I'm not going to talk to you about any controversies because they are known. What I am going to talk about is gaming releases. Gaming releases yesterday, gaming releases today and most importantly gaming releases on the 10th of November. Why? Because that's when, yes that's right, Fallout 4 comes out. Halloween is getting ever so near and I still have absolutely nowhere to go for it because I have no friends. Oh, well that's sad. <laughs> but we'll show them a real Halloween scare, won't we? <laughs> First off, Divinity Original Sin is out and about. As you're watching this, I'm probably playing it. So I'm having a lot more fun than you are. <laughs> Divinity Original Sin's Enhanced Edition is going to update the entirety of the game and add voice dialogue, actually tens of thousands of new lines voiced over by professional voiceover actors, which is really quite impressive. Seeing as that's a very big game with lots and lots of dialogue and text in it. Just about every aspect of the original original sim is going to be updated in some way, major or minor. And this is absolutely exciting for me because I really, really quite liked the original sim. It came out last year after a successful Kickstarter. I was actually one of the people who kickstarted it, along with many, many others and I'm very, very happy with how it turned out to be. Chaos Reborn, the new game by original XCOM creator Julian Gollop, was released yesterday on Steam. You can buy it with a 20% discount by November 4th. If you would like to do so, please follow the link below. Chaos Reborn will set you back by 20 euro or dollars or your regional equivalent. And it is a turn-based, fast-paced wizard combat game. Honestly, I would love to go and pick it up right now while it's on a discount, but I've bought quite a few games already this month and the next month and the month after that. So I might just have to wait a little bit for the sale or something along the lines. But if you don't have my issues and you love turn-based games, this one is for you. If you're wondering when exactly Batman Arkham Knight is going to be re-released on the PC, wonder no more. Tomorrow is the fateful day that all your wondering goes away, because finally Batman Arkham Knight, or a hopefully not buggy, bug-ridden, awful mess of a Tomorrow? A supposedly bug-free version of Arkham Knight is going to come out on Steam and other online distributors. Ah, the original release of Batman Arkham Knight, quite a good example of why you should never, ever, ever pre-order any game, wasn't it? Such a bug ridden mess. Strangely enough, Warner Brothers apparently don't feel the need to actually make up for the mistakes of the past by giving us a bunch of free DLC or maybe setting up the price a tiny bit lower, 10-20%. No, they're going to charge us full price and we're going to have to buy the DLC if we want to play them. Honestly, I'll wait for the Game of the Year edition, because I'm sure that some unknown site is going to call Batman Arkham Knight the Game of the Year. But with the issues it had, I wouldn't. Sorry. And now, last but not least, in case you actually do pre-order video games and you needed any more incentives to pre-order Fallout 4, this one is for you. If you've pre-purchased Fallout 4, rest easily. It is going to be pre-loadable. That's a very nice gesture, isn't it? Also, if you buy it on Steam by the end of November, you're going to get an exclusive, well, maybe not exclusive, but free Dota 2 announcer pack. And now, you can finally find out what the achievements and trophies in Fallout 4 are going to be. If you want to find out, follow the link in the description below. It is going to say Fallout 4 achievements, and it is definitely not going to lead to a Hitler memorabilia store. An online store. 
no one uses offline anymore, do they? No. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, I appreciate it. If you like this, please feel free to share it. If you don't, still do it. And if you're okay either way, please don't. That would be awful. I really don't like people who have no opinion either way. Sorry. Bye!